Let's examine the behavior of ammonium nitrate alone when heat is applied. As we can see, it begins to melt. However, it does not burn. Even though substantial heat is applied, the ammonium nitrate merely melts. If the heat is sustained, the ammonium nitrate begins to fume as it decomposes, but still it does not burn. Here we see how a pile of plain sawdust behaves when the same gas flame is applied to it. The sawdust ignites quite readily and the whole combustion spreads quickly over the total surface of the pile. But just as quickly, the combustion appears to die down. Opening up the pile shows that the sawdust has burned mainly on the surface. This is because there's not enough oxygen to support combustion inside the centre of the pile. Once a fresh surface is opened up and exposed to air, the combustion begins again because more oxygen has become available. Next, the same experiment is tried again, but this time the pile contains a mixture of ammonium nitrate and sawdust. The mixture ignites rapidly and burns quite vigorously. This time, it is clear that the mixture is burning completely, even deep in the centre of the pile. has been completely burned out because this time the oxygen necessary for combustion was provided by the ammonium nitrate contained in the mixture. Let's take this experiment a step further. The following experiment will show that ammonium nitrate can support combustion even in the absence of air. Again, the pile is a mixture of sawdust and ammonium nitrate. After ignition, it is covered with a funnel to exclude the air. The fumes we see contain oxides of nitrogen and other gases released by the burning mixture. It is important to note that these are toxic gases. Upon examination, it is clear that the pile has burnt completely, again, even though oxygen was excluded. The ammonium nitrate has supplied the extra oxygen necessary for total combustion.